In this brand new video, you will now discover a new way to write your own program, using, functions. So be sure to stick around and watch until the end of this video if you want to discover more. Wow! Functions in Python are very useful, and you should start using them in your program, straight away. So, let's practice now, it's your turn. Suppose you want to sum up all the items of a list passed as argument to your function, which contains the values 1, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Then, return the computed result, how would you proceed? Here is a solution. First, let's declare a list with the items 1, 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. Then, define your function sum underscore list, and add the following statement inside your function. If you want to add all items from a list, you have to iterate using for loop, for item in my list. And add the current item to your local variable result, previously initialized. Result plus equals item. Eventually, when no elements are left and you reach the end of your list, your function will return the result. That's it. You just wrote your own function that iterates through a list, adds all items, and returns the sum of all of them. Please, tell me in the comment, what result did you get? Did you find another way to do the same thing? I will reply to everyone in the comments, and help each other from this community. If you need more help with Python for loops, conditional if statements, and even lists in Python, check out our blog, and the suggested videos. Awesome! Let's move forward to the last sections of this tutorial, and discover how to correctly comment your functions in Python and, more generally, how to comment your code. If you like this video, please, do not forget to give a thumb up, and subscribe our channel. Digital Academy, learn free. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Like. Comment. And share.